this is called the Mandala, uh, the art collective. Um, I chose Mandala because it's a continuous circle. And that's kind of like what we're working with. We're rotating around each other. We have a general idea on like what each artist is doing, but the overall concept is to see like what's gonna, how this whole piece is gonna tie in together, how we're gonna tie it all together as a unified piece. I think Madala just kind of evolved just from uh, other artists' input. Like my whole purpose of this is just to get other artists together in the community and just work. Nancy Rice Early. I am a visual artist. I've been in St. Louis for about four years, come from California, born and raised in the Midwest, moved away and came back about 10 years ago and then came down here. I have been an artist since I was in junior high. Mostly I paint abstract acrylics, but I have uh, painted realism, um, I teach and I'm in web for a living. Right now we are doing eight paintings I believe it is. And now we are uh, all, all painting together and apart. So we're going to see how they all come out. My name's Ashley. Ashley, what are you doing? Painting. What are you painting? Where? No, I'm painting with some acrylics and just kind of going on the flow today. Yeah? Yeah. Just listening what? to the music, just going with the flow. I like to do a little bit of everything, but I really like to work with ceramics. I am working, <clears throat> working with a collective group of artists called the Mandela Project. And we are rotating and working collaboratively today. I'm Mary Beth Tipton. I always like working with color. I love, I like the tactile quality of paint. Um, I like mixed media. So this is um, a, a group called um, Mandala, and it's a, about eight of us who are. Some of us haven't met before, some of us have, and we're all working on uh, paintings at the same time. My name is Valeria. I like mixed media, especially oils and acrylics. Uh, I'm working with Mandala Collective, which are very talented artists, and we are around eight artists, and we are just mixing work, um, Switching painting every 10 minutes probably. Uh, it's going to be a surprise at the end. Here's the man who started all, all of this. I think. Can't see him. What's, what's your name? My name is Gray Finch. Uh, the idea just kind of started off as a basic like, concept. I, I put a show together back in uh, April in uh, Kirkwood. Started out as a, as a general idea of uh, a gathering of a uh, beginning artists and artists that wanted exposure and it's kind of what that evolved from. Uh, I pulled uh, three artists from that exhibit into this one and the people that I selected I feel that we all share a common interest uh, whether it's based on like spirituality or like you know our general interest just in the fine arts. Uh, I work as a mixed media artist. I work on every single medium from uh, or, like I, I pretty much work with everything um, I've painted on everything from uh, canvas, uh, vinyl, wood, metal, uh, the human body, everything. You know, so uh, my my style is very uh, diverse. Um, I like to manipulate the surface when I'm done, make it look like an oil, or you know, make it look like encaustic or something. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to be working with like all these people, man. Like it's, it's humbling. It's great just to be out, you know, even with COVID. It's cool just to get out in the public and work with different artists. So, uh, pleasure being here, man. You know. Hello, hello. I'm James Putman. Here, doing some art today. Yeah, I met Gray. I guess it was back at the Kirkwood art performance. You know, I went out there and did a little article on it. My buddy Nathan was out there uh, actually doing some screen printing, and that's how I even went out there. And yeah, next thing you know, I'm talking to Gray on Facebook, me and Nathan, because uh, Gray asked about you know needing some some folks to 
volunteer for Smile of Art. So, you know, it's an excellent opportunity to get out and meet people. I personally like, uh, I like working with sculptures, uh, like ceramics. Um, I like glass, you know, I like working with glass, anything that's uh, uh, three-dimensional. You know, it's, it's fun painting stuff, you know, get out there and draw and everything, but, uh, you know, I like it whenever it, whenever it gets, when you get to add that extra dimension onto it, you know, because the higher dimensions you go, the better it gets. Hi, I am Maria Ojas Castro, and I am an artist, and I am also Art for Wellbeing instructor. Art for Wellbeing is, I use art to teach individuals how to um, have their voice heard and to express themselves. Uh, my passion project where I use art for well-being is with uh, men transitioning out of the criminal justice system. I'm a founder of um, a program where I bring visual arts, writing, and theater opportunities to a transition center where men go from living in prison to living at the transition center to being productive citizens. And so they use art as part of their healing um, from the trauma, from past traumas. I've been teaching for over 14 years. Yeah. And um, yeah, I really see how art can transform their lives tremendously. Hi. My name is Jamie Jessup. I've been accused of being an artist for most of my life. Um, I've always enjoyed creating stuff of some sort. Uh, I started off drawing, which is mainly what I've done all my life, um, as far as art is co concerned. Um, I like doing paintings. I like doing stained glass. I've done that for about 20 years. I also do photo and video work and video editing, which is why I'm doing my interview here instead of the day we were painting because I was running the camera also and painting. And so I didn't really do an interview there. I was really glad to be asked to be part of the Mandala Art Collective. Uh, it's a group of eight artists, really nice people, really talented people. Um, it's fun when you can work in a group doing art with other artists because they all bring something different to the table. And when you get going and start creating, those ideas come out and that might spur you to have other ideas that maybe you wouldn't have otherwise had. It's really neat to be able to see the stuff in action, see it happen. Also, you know, that day we were out um, on the street and it was, you know, wonderful August afternoon and Yaki's on the corner, Yaki's Pizza was over there with their curbside concerts and the whole street was full of people and people could turn around and like see the concert, they could come over here and see the art being made. And maybe it, it inspires them to go do something because they're like, hey, look, I saw it in action. I know that it's not impossible. That's a really neat thing is to actually inspire other people to go create too. And I think that's a lot of the point of like doing a project like this. Um, so I was really glad that Gray asked me to be part of it. I was glad to work with all the other artists in it. And I hope that we get to do it again in the future. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was a good day. <laughs>